Today I'll show you how you can add themes to your Luxic node so that Luxic looks even better. But before we get into the video, massive shout out to the big sponsor of today's video. <laughs> just kidding, I don't have a sponsor for today's video. It's just me. So if you want to help me support making this channel possible, putting a rooftop over my computer, definitely check out my online courses. My Luxy course will teach you the fundamentals of it. I'll talk more about it later, but for now, let's get into this video. All right, so if you're like me, you probably love being able to customize the applications that you use to look the way that you like them. Particularly, I'm a big lover of big lover. <laughs> I really love dark mode and dark mode to me is like the way that I set up my whole computer. So I definitely have a couple of themes that I really like. I also created one that I'm going to show you. It's all for free. And I'm also going to be talking about ways in which you can add even more themes from what is currently available. So with that, let's get into Luxic. Okay, so this is what Luxic looks by default, right? I here I have just an example note just to show you. And by default, this is the theme and this is kind of like the blueness of how everything looks like. Now in light mode, I'm a big fan of dark mode, that's how I always keep it, but if you're one of those crazy people that love light mode, or maybe you're outside and you need a very bright screen, then yeah, light mode makes sense sometimes. So brace yourselves, close your eyes if you're allergic to light mode, I'm gonna toggle it. That's what it looks like, let's bring it back. All right, so now when you go to Logseek and you go to the three dots up here, you can't yet see plugins and themes. You need to activate this by first going to settings. So bear with me, if you go to settings, go to advance. Now you can toggle this on. It's gonna prompt you to restart Luxic, which of course you need to do in order for this to work. And now that is gonna enable you to be able to access plugins and themes down here. I know this can be confusing, but you do not install themes in themes. That's where you actually select the theme that you're currently using. You install themes in plugins because plugins and themes are installed in the same way. So if you go to plugins, now here you're gonna be able to see the ones that you have installed. As you can see, I already have quite a few. But if you go to marketplace, this is where you can find them. Not every theme that has been created is yet here. Hopefully that will change over time and we'll be able to see more. But as you can see, you can explore a, a couple of these. Some are plugins, some, some are themes. Clever developers will put theme at the end of the <laughs> of their theme, but I, I apparently don't do that because I, I think I'm special or something. And I forgot to name mine cover theme, but this is a theme, this is the one that I created. You can install it. You can install any of these plugins or themes by just clicking on install. So let's just give an example. Dracula theme, once it's installed, it will automatically change to it. Now I'll show you with mine, this one's Cobra, this is the one that I created, when you install it, it will automatically change to it. So there you go, it says install plugin. And now when you go to install, you can see that the theme that you installed is here next to any other plugin and any other theme that you've already installed. Now you might look into this top message right here and be kind of worried of what this means. I understand it might sound scary. Honestly, the only step that you can do to combat this is just do regular backups. Apart from that, I think you should be fine. Just something to keep in mind. Cool, so now let me jump to my example note in here. And as you can see, a lot of things have changed. Of course, different themes will have different types of dark mode and light mode. If I show you mine, it burns my eyelids, but it looks kind of nice. Of course, we'll keep it in dark mode because better. <laughs> and now after you install different themes, you can see that if you click on these three dots again, you're going to be able to see themes. And from here, you can select the different themes that you want to select. If you click on default, that's going to take you to the normal default theme, of course. And here you can start exploring different ones, right? So there you go. And that's how you change from theme to theme. That's the idea. You'll be able to see every theme that you've installed and there you go. So yeah, some are pretty cool. Explore, see which one you like. You can always change them for different moods for, I don't know, like you don't have to use themes. You just choose the one you like. That's it. It's as simple as that. <laughs> now, let me show you how you can update a theme. So if you just go to the three dots in here and you go to plugins again, you can see that in your installed ones, for instance, say you want to update my theme Cobra, it will say that it's already updated because, you know, it's the latest version. But if you have an old version of whatever theme, it's just going to tell you updated to this version, right? I'm a good boy, so everything should be up to date. There, oh no, this one wasn't. Any changes or modifications that the creator of the theme has added, you're going to be able to see that and you're going to be updated in real time with whatever progress they've made, you know? And sometimes that is just like aesthetic changes or sometimes it can actually be updating to the way the Luxic looks now. You know, Luxic makes quite a few changes because they're in early stages and they might move a menu here or menu there. And, you know, some themes need to be updated in order to keep up with Luxic development. So that's why it's good to keep your themes updated. Now, if you want to manage or delete a theme, you can again go to plugins. And if, for instance, like this creator of this theme forgot to name his 
theme properly and you want to delete it, you can click here and uninstall. <laughs> I'll rename it. I'll call it cover theme. I don't know what happened to me. Either way, there we go. And now you can delete that and it's no longer there. But of course, if you want to get it again, you would go to the marketplace and install it again. And there you go, right? Now, if you're greedy like me, you'll realize that here you only have like around eight themes at the time of recording this. Of course, Loxic will keep becoming more popular and more people will start developing themes and submitting it to the Loxic marketplace. But until then, if you're curious about how you can search for new themes and new plugins and stuff like that that are not getting here in my Loxic course, did you see that nice segue? <laughs> In my Loxic course, I teach you how to manually do that, as well as many other things about the fundamentals of Loxic and pro tips and things that will help you use Loxic to its full potential. So if you want to check that out, definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. Again, you really support this channel and you really help me be able to keep making more videos. So I truly appreciate it. And with that said, I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. See you soon. See ya.